Welcome back to PowerBoat1.com. Got our carburetor in place. Now we're down to putting the headers on. I've already got this starboard header in place. Now we're going to go over and put the port side on. One neat little trick is to take and cut some studs, cut a little slot in them, and just thread them into the cylinder head there. That makes it a lot easier when you put the gasket up in place. It'll hold the gasket in place. Then when you slip the, the header on, it just stays on the studs like that. It's like a second hand. Now you set that up in place. Now we can run our bolts in. Okay, there's a little wrench here. Run that up in place. And just kind of run them up till it's just about snug. And then we'll take and put the rest of the bolts in and we'll pull our studs out. The reason we cut the slot in it is so that we can stick a screwdriver in and we can thread out the stud and drop it in the bilge. And then we'll take and thread out the other one and not drop that one in the bilge. Then we'll go through and put the other remaining bolts in place and then we'll cinch this header up. Okay, now that our port header's tight, we'll grab the water line and we'll get it put up in place. This is the water line that comes with these Lightning LS headers. It comes with a length of tube. You would take and cut these to the lengths that fit your application the best. I've already pre-cut these to where they'll fit onto this header. These brass fittings screw up into each port of the header. The header's actually jacketed to where water runs around the outside cooling the header while the exhaust is on the inside tube. This water line will go right up in here. We'll take and we'll drop our, our clamps on it. There we go, our clamps are in place. Now let's slip this up on there. It can fight you at times, but anything worth doing is can be difficult. Okay, now we've got them lined up. Now just taking, push them back up there. Okay, just like that. You want it to seat so it's all the way up on the hose barb. And then when our clamp comes in place, it'll tighten up and seal this area off. This end is where we'll run a fitting out. And then this will run out and run up into our thermostat housing. And that'll be where the water exits. Let's take and get our clamps tight, then we're going to move on to getting the water out of the engine and into the headers. Okay, now that we've got our lines tight on the bottom of our lightning headers, we're going to take and screw in our water inlet fitting, which this is a half inch pipe, and we're running dash 10 hose out. So you thread that in. Tighten it down. Make sure that you use some sort of thread sealer, whether it's Teflon tape, thread sealer, anything to make a nice tight seal here. Okay, tighten it up. The other thing that the lightning headers come with is they come with this petcock. The petcock is going to screw into the back of the actual line. And we'd run and tighten that up. And the petcock's something that you'd want to drain the headers when you're done using them and the boat's going to be sitting for a while. That keeps water from sitting inside of here. It just pulls it all out. That way it stays nice and dry and you get many years of service out of these headers. Now we've got our line in the front. Let's take and make a hose and finish this up. Okay, what I think is going to work here is we're going to run a 45 down on the bottom here and we're going to run a 90 here. That way we can kind of sneak it under the alternator and bring it up around the top so we'll have nice clean look with that hose. Now I'm going to go push these push locks together and come back and we'll get the hose installed. Okay, we've got our hose built now. Something that's kind of important to do with hose lock fittings is use these little clamps and there's a little pair of pliers that you just take, set it on there and then snap it in place and it locks it in place and that keeps it from coming off. Anytime you use any kind of pressure application, this is something you really want to do. Okay, we're going to take slide the hose down through here, 
let's take and get it started on here. Let's thread it in place. Now we're going to thread this one up. It'll move the hose around to where it's going to be tight where we want it to sit. Okay, that one's cinched down. That will put a little clamp over there. Okay, that's how that hose will ride. We'll make one for the other side. Then we'll be done with this header install. Thanks for watching. PowerBoltOne.com.